Hello guys, it's me again, Christine, and we are in my vlog series, The Trill Rich Lifestyle, inspiring OFWs to live a happy, healthy, and wealthy life. And right now, I'm so excited because I am with my friend, Julia, and her story is just so inspiring from caregiver to a manager here in New Zealand. And yeah, we hope to inspire people. Um, if you're starting from the ground, I know it's not easy to start in a foreign country like us here in New Zealand, but then doesn't mean you're not going to grow because there is a room to grow if you want to. And I just want to hear her story. Thank you for being here. I'm really happy that you're here. Thank so, you, yeah. Christine, for having me. It's such been an honor to be a part of this community. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, tell us about you know your story and how I many in in a short version. I'll be writing a a blog for Julia, like her whole story and how she did it. Maybe it can help you. But this is like a quick um, from caregiving to um, a manager. Mm -hmm. How did you do that? Well, my journey starts back home in the Philippines. I came from a rural area in Biliran. Um, I came from an impoverished family, very struggling because I came from a huge family of 11 siblings. So, 11. <laughs> growing up, we are really um, struggling. So, um, the family has managed to bring everyone all together to uplift our standard of livelihood. And then um, we become a success story at the same time where we are where we came from. So coming from there, um, from rural areas, I moved to Cebu and studied as a physical therapy. Um, I'm a th physical therapy graduate in Cebu, and then. Um, at that time, there was a recession in the United States. We always look up into the America as the only destinations where you can find the greener pasture. But then I was introduced to New Zealand as another pathway for me to improve my my career development. Greener pasture. Literally. Another, yeah, so you have to, it's not just about, you know, as, at this stage, everybody was focusing into a certain particular countries wherein we can go because that is exactly the norm and what's being popular. But it's at that time, New Zealand was not popular for immigrants to move out in the country for a greener pasture. I only heard New Zealand. I don't even know where New Zealand in the map is. Same in here. The globe. <laughs> so um, it was just It's a not blessing. in Europe, guys, just to let you know. <laughs> it's just a blessing in disguise that I managed to have a, a friend who introduced me again. It's a matter of connecting your yourself into a people that could actually alleviate your condition and be able to guide you where you should be. And I've been very thankful to that family who was helping me. So my pathway here in New Zealand is a um, healthcare assistant, okay? So I studied here for three months. I borrowed money in the Philippines. I don't want that advice to give you, but if there is no other, if there's another way to do that, please do so. But if there's no other way for you to do that, if you can, well, why not take the risk but again it's your it's the risk okay but uh, so I, I i went to new zealand and I studied there i studied here for three months and lucky enough to be able to get a healthcare assistant role that's a caregiver we call ourselves here a healthcare assistant but that's a caregiver role in a, a retirement village because of that um you know i was i was in a working visa from student visa to work visa and uh, it was being um, I keep renewing my visa for five years until I had a worry that I will never be renewed so, so I made um, a research of how can I actually turn the I'm already here in New Zealand and I don't want to go back to the Philippine, Philippines because I felt like I don't have a future there I don't feel that I have a better um, better way of of um so i want to emphasize this to those who are um, holding work permits and you keep on renewing and sometimes there's a point that i mean it happened like people the immigration they didn't approve the working visa anymore mm -hmm. and and they actually sent home after being here for so long because they're still on a working visa and yes. this is what i love about what julia did and you should listen to this yes. because she 
found another way to get her permanent residency, and mm. you are now a citizen, right? That's right. She's now a citizen. So what from that caregiving? From when when I was a caregiver, um, yes, you can renew your visa several times, but there's only a certain point where in the immigration will allow you to do that. But then, can I just emphasize one thing? So. Um, if you come here to work as a caregiver, it's not uh, under a skilled, um, correct skilled, um, you know, where Migrant you can get list. list. Mm. So it's it's like a temporary job. So yeah, you gotta find a way. Yes. And how if, did you do it? If you need to have a long term plan, you need to create your own research. When you arrive here in New Zealand, don't settle for what is already in front of you. Try to create an initiative to do your own research of how to actually improve your living condition, your career pathway. So try, and this is one thing that I would like to emphasize is try to work on where your qualification is back in the Philippines. Majority of us has, you know, great qualification back home, engineers, nurses, um, medical technicians and all of that. So try to create a pathway within your qualifications. And so in my in my in my um, situation, I am a physical therapy background in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And so I did a research of what can I actually um, integrate my qualifications wherein I could um, I could bridge it into a, a, a an somewhere wherein there is a, a, a need here in New Zealand. So, yeah. so I applied as a massage therapist. So yes, so, he, wow, massage therapist. Says, I was a massage therapist for almost a year. It was a tedious job, really, really hard work because your 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 investment is your physical strength. So do you know if a massage therapist right now is still in the shortlist? Pretty much is still in the shortlist. So you cannot confirm it for you guys, but you gotta look um, in the website. You have to go to online. Because yeah. it keeps on updating. It does. It they always they always keep changing. Once they met the demands, they will remove it, this, the shortlist, and then um, they will put more what is required in the economy. Yeah. But this is the, at that time, I have to to become a massage therapist. So I don't have a background as a massage therapist back in the Philippines, in the Philippines, but I had a management background in the Philippines managing a spa. So I, it did, at least somehow, it actually connected that as an experience for me. So you have to make sure that, you, you know, try to get all together. Don't select a job when you were in the Philippines. It's because it doesn't uplift your status in the community. But ensure that whatever, whatever you're doing, there's always a purpose in it. You just don't know that it actually connects into something better at the end of, you know, eventually in your um, later stage of your life, in your career. So when I was doing that, I managed to put that as an experience in the, in the spa industry. And I was accepted as a beauty therapist slash massage therapist. And it's because of my background as a PT, I was being, um, in, you know, being given a chance to become uh, a senior lead therapist. So I was handling VIP. I managed to um, handle some big stars in Hollywood and also actresses in in New Zealand. So, so and because of that, you got your and permanent And because of that, I got visa. my permanent residency visa. And What's going on? Okay, guys, we're back again. And I just want to ask Julia, um, when did the shift start, you know, from that massage therapies and then she went into caregiving? And where, where did the shift came from? Now you are a manager in your own office from that role of massaging and caregiving. Tell yes. me about it. Now, I've had that opportunity to become a resident here in, the, in, in New Zealand, and I would like to actually, now that I got the opportunity, I would like to actually want to do something more. I don't want to be in the same rut where I, I was before. So because, you know, I don't want to settle into that certain point in my the life. The income is not that the great. The income is not that great. Yes, you have a security in terms of papers, but there's nothing improved in terms of your living condition. So I have a mindset shift. That is one thing that you need to know. Christine and I was working together in one of the retirement village here, and we constantly discuss oh. things on how to improve she's, our. She's a bit financially illiterate before. <laughs> I was. I don't know exactly how to deal with my finances, and Christine opened up about how to actually divide your finances into a certain amount 
to be able to save and to be able to invest and to be able to live within my means. And so that is the starting point wherein I have to shift. as like, oh no, I don't have something that I have to do for investments. So I find a different opportunity, a different facet of income like network marketing. Now I am an independent consultant for R1 as part of my income stream. Yeah. As I am now an general. I am a guest services manager, and I would say it's uh, it's above average in terms of income. I am in a corporate world, and as well as in a management executive world. But then I felt like it's not enough for me to actually elevate my my living standard here in New Zealand. Living cost in this in New Zealand is growing, and if you will stay in the same income, you will never actually catch up. So that is the reality in here. So find your passion. Find whatever that is best for you to be able to uplift your standard of living. Don't settle for one income stream. I would definitely recommend to find something that you love and create some sort of monetary reward out of it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Instill grit into what you want. Pinapatay ko na, Indy. 